Well, hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I hope I could do this without falling off. Um, this is going to be my second fig harvesting and tasting in as many days. I've decided to take my what I believe is long due. It's actually it was named wrong when I bought it. This is the fig that I've featured in a couple of times in the last week or so. Um, if I manage to get the bag off one-handed balancing on the ladder with a camera remains to be seen but I've noticed that uh, it's it's cracking quite considerably on the skin which is normally a reasonably good indication that it's ready and we're not due to have any particularly hot weather you can see the one in front of it um, is also ripening this is the tree that I cut back quite hard this week to lose some of the um, the height of it but uh, I'm going to put the bag on the second fig here and I'm going to pick this one and we'll actually have a look at it and um, if I can get the manage to get the bag undone that is I'm going to pull this fig off here harvest it because it's soft because I'm worried it's facing upwards that it's going to be ruined by any rain we're likely to have let's see if I can get this off without actually dropping it on the floor and spoiling it uh, impossible to do one handed what I'm going to do is so I don't ruin it and drop it on the floor pause the video and uh, get down and do it with one hand properly or two hands so this is a really nice looking genuine main crop fig that did uh, develop as a result of pinching now this is a completely different shape fig to the bravers on this particular tree which are a sort of fairly elongated teardrop, teardrop shape so I thought what we'd do is as this is quite a nice size fig is perhaps weigh it and see what it weighs so let's get the scales out we can get these fired up do the weighting grams which is what people seem to like to prefer look at that 118 grams that's really really impressive and for anyone who's into obviously ounces 4.2 ounces so that's a good That is a good weight, 118 grams. So I thought we'd cut this one open on camera. Let's put that back on the plate, let you have a look at it inside, because that looks really, really nice. Let me just steady the camera up a minute on it on a stand so that I can use my uh, hands fully. Let's see what this looks like inside. It's got a, it had some, had a nice syrupy eye in it, so I'm thinking it's going to be quite a nice fig. Yeah, that looks really nice inside. Looks very juicy. I'm going to taste this one, not on camera, because that's too boring for people. Let's see what this tastes like. See how it compares with the black Madeira. Mmm, very nice. Very sweet, syrupy. Ah, oh, tell we let's turn the camera around. Let me just pause it a second. Well, here we go. So, as I said, that's the main crop fig. I think it's probably a long do. Mmm. That's better than the black Madeira. No aftertaste, skin's nice and soft. Well worth waiting till uh, well worth waiting until late September for. And there's at least there's certainly two more on the tree that I'd say are definitely going to uh, ripen. Possibly a few more, we'll have to wait and see. But that is um, a very nice looking fig. I'm absolutely delighted that the pinching got that ready in uh, sort of third, well, last week of September now. Because you really want to... Um, 
you really want them in September while there's still a bit of warmth in the air and they get this sweetness that's the whole idea of pinching if you leave them till October even if you get a few figs they won't have the sweetness to them but a uh, very very nice fig mm. thanks very much for watching the video much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel you can share the video if you think anybody would be interested in gratuitous fig eating and uh, remember to click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out catch up with you all soon Brett out for now